Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been about half hour, 45 minutes since I did my face shave and let me tell you, it's one of the best shaves I've had. I've got no post shave on here other than theirs and my skin feels incredibly moisturised. It just feels great. I'm really, really happy with the results and the soap and everything else just worked. And that razor, I'm so glad that Spencer managed to, or made that trade with me. I'm so, I'm really chuffed. It's a lovely soap set that's gone over to him and I think he'll probably like the scent on it for some reason. I think he'll like it because he likes everything that I don't like so it's bound to work for him. Oh, I've just tipped our water out already. Okay so head shave time. Elvaro, Lake of the Woods. I seen Wisconsin Shaver on Instagram. Picked this one out in the tub form. Now if he watches this, which he probably won't, this um, M, I don't use M very often. This one is a lot stronger scented than the tubs, so it's, it's a lot nicer. And it's avocado shea butter shaving cream, and this one is silver fur needle. I must believe that's the scent of it. So anyway, the brush I'm going to be using is my Samog Owners Club 2012 Special Edition with the Boja, 50% Boa, 50% Badger Nut, and it's got a little bit of scritch in it. Not much, but there's still a bit in there and it's still not, oh, I'm hoping it goes away eventually, but I don't think it will. And if I'm brutally honest, I think eventually this brush will leave the den, just based on the fact that it's not a comfortable, comfortable brush for me personally, for face shaves. Head shaves is absolutely fine, so I might keep it for that, I really don't know. So let's wet the head. Now I've got quite a few days growth today, not today, but I've got quite a few days growth built up over the past few days. So it'll be interesting to see how this razor goes. I'm just going to give it a bash. If it just doesn't do the job, then I'll switch out for something more efficient. So here we go. Head shaves, what I normally do is put three pumps on. So I'm just going to pump three pumps into the brush or onto the brush. One, two, three. And I can always add an extra squirt later. Brush or brushless. You don't have to use a brush with it. Oh, it smells lovely. It really does. So here we go. Now, I have never had a problem with Elvado products lathering. I've never had an issue with any irritation or anything from them. I'll just see if it says one I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's organic, EcoCert approved, made in Canada. I'm sure it says something, there you go, 100% essential oils, which is great, and it's 92% organic, which is even better. See, I'm using this on my head right now, and the scrub from this brush is absolutely amazing. I'm using it now thinking, yeah, I don't think I will get rid of it, and I don't think I will. I think even if I just kept this in my arsenal for a head shave every now and then, because it's such, for me, such a nice brush just to look at as well. It's not just a, a great performing brush. And it does whip up a pretty, oh Jesus, as you can see, <laughs> pretty amazing lather. I don't know how I managed to get that all down there. That's the first time that's happened. <laughs> Right, let's dip the tips now and add some water in because it's quite dry. But Spencer certainly put a dent. Oh, this scent's lovely. It's still got a citrusy sort of feel to it, but it's really nice. Really crisp, refreshing scent. And a lot, a lot, lot stronger than the soap out the tub, the tin that. Elvaro started out with. I've also noticed that they're releasing a new scent very soon called Sea Moss. So it'll be interesting to see what that one smells like. They're, a, they're just a great company, I have to say. John Carinci, the owner operator, and He's just a lovely, lovely guy. And 
I mean, I tell, I tell it as it is on here. You know, if I buy a product and it's crap, if it's crap. If someone sends me a product and it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. But he does make really excellent shaving products. His creams and balms are as good as any out there, really. And to say it's a cream, it's probably not as good as soaps. I prefer soaps. I find you get... I, I just prefer the experience from a soap, I think, more than anything. I like to load from the tub. I like, the, I like being able to smell it out the tub. When it comes out a pump bottle like this, you can't smell it whenever you want, so it's... But for longevity, I would imagine that in that little pump bottle there, that it's going to last quite well. Right, so what we have here is an absolutely stunning lather. It smells great, lovely, fresh, zingy, refreshing scent. Now, I'm not sure if that's the scent he was going for. I mean, silver fur needle sounds like it's going to be quite a woody scent to me. I do get a bit of wood from it. Not literally. But it's very, very nice. And as you can see, it just lathers up easily. I know I put three pumps in there. It recommends two. But in terms of cream loading, like you hate it, put an extra pump in for the sake of that. Excuse me. Okay, the razor. If you watched my face shave two days ago, is the Gillette Rocket HD 500, number 59. Recently replated in rhodium and revamped at Razor Emporium. And the face shave I had with it was exceptional. It's ever so slightly more aggressive than it was when I sent it away and I have actually I quite like that. But it's still mild enough that I can use it as an everyday shaver. But let's see how it goes on with quite a few days growth on the head. Same Nasset blade that I used for my face shave. Now, one thing that I've always enjoyed from El Bado is the slickness. And straight off the bat, the slickness on this cream is just exceptional. It's really good. I find creams to be quite slick in general. I don't know if it's the makeup of them or the way this stuff's actually blended into them, but I find them very slick. Most creams. Even your mass produced ones like Omega. But so far, so good. Feels very nice, very smooth. It's definitely more efficient than it was when I sent it. It's, I'm 100% sure it is. But one thing it's got, and it had before I sent it, is it's equal on both sides. It's, an, it's a heavy razor for its size, but it's also light, if that makes sense, because there's not much of it. It feels very substantial in your hand, you feel like you're holding a bit of quality. And I have to say, now that it's got this finish on it, I feel like I'm holding a really good bit of quality. It just it makes all that difference when you actually pick it up and you look at it. It looks brand new, like a razor of today. You know, it is a vintage razor. But it looks like I've just got, gone down to the shop and picked up like, even like a Parker. Parkers are quite similar looking to Gillette. And that's what it looks like. It's like you've just went down there and picked up a Parker razor. The difference being is the build quality on this, in my opinion, is far superior to any Parker razor that I've used. But look, I've never had a problem really with any razor against the grain on my head. I can get away with really any razor other than the supply razor, which really struggled. But the day that I used the supply razor wasn't the best either. I had a, I was shaving sunburn, which it isn't great, I can assure you, it's not a nice feeling. This seems to be doing quite a nice job. Let's 
it's that sinker to the shape. So I'm hoping to get another head shave in on Sunday night with my face shave to start my new job on Monday. So that's the reason why I'm doing this all tonight. Let's just see how this brush performs now that it's got one lather done on it. See that it's still got a nice lather consistency out of it. And that'll give you a good indication of how good the cream is as well. Get my hands. How are we feeling? It feels alright. The slickness on this cream is brilliant. I mean, this is slick stuff. Oh, I pulled my naked football on Monday, soccer. It has been giving me chip. So there we go. Lather number two using the Simol Onus Club 2012 Special Edition and El Barro Lake of the Woods brush or brushless formula which in my opinion is it took out my top spot for creams of 2017 it's easily my favourite cream I think I do like Castle Forms I used Occam's last year as well which was excellent but I sent that over to Oivé because he was looking for a good cream so that was pretty much the best cream of my day at the time but since I've found this stuff it's not, not many better creams in my opinion if there is any out there this is the best one I've used not only for its performance which is great but also for its its ingredients which are also exceptional I'm just going to dip the tips here and see if I can get this just going a little bit, it's just a little bit flat and just see what we can do with this cream natural hair brush I'm not expecting much. There's no other brush that I've used other than the Packard 24mm 2 band. That thing is just a monster when it comes to making lather. So I'm happy with that. It's not great, it's not the thickest of coatings. If this was a synthetic, I can assure you right now that the lather would be much, much thicker and creamier. But the performance on this cream now, because I only need slickness mainly, don't need too much protection, I just want that slickness for the against the grain pass. This is where it shows. So here we go with the Gillette Rocket HD 500 against the grain. seems to be ploughing through. Now unlike the Wunderbar, the Rocknell, the above the tie R1 stainless steel version, unlike all of those razors, because this is just ever so slightly lighter and it's not a super aggressive efficient razor you can just give it a little bit you can you can lean a little bit into your skin with it without causing yourself too many problems I know it's not ideal but when I'm going against the grain What? This is surprisingly pretty good. Whatever the guys over at Razor Emporium have done to this razor, they've turned it into a, an efficient but extremely mild razor. No one's seen that. I'm not getting. It's better. I'm not quite finding the angle right with it. I am getting there. 
Yeah, it's, it's certainly more efficient than it was. Is it a razor I'd use for head shaves? Probably not. It's not that I would pull it all the time, but it's nice to have a little change every now and then. I just felt in this instance that I had to pull it out and just give it a go because it did feel so much nicer on my skin and my face. Even though it's still mild, it's, it's way more efficient. But as you head shavers out there will know, the hair on your head, it needs a, needs a bit of a beating to get rid of it compared to the hair on your face, in my opinion anyway. I suppose your hair type and also how thick your hair is play a part as well. But one thing I'm getting here that I'm noticing straight away is the slickness of the soap. offering me great protection from this blade even though it's, you don't really feel the blade but I mean there's no way I would have done all this with the MG90 or the supply razor and had the results that I'm getting so, so right now on the back of my head I'm pretty much BBS all over maybe just a few little bits here and there but nothing to write home about there's a do you know it's pretty it feels pretty good so it'll be good to see what the what the irritation's like because obviously I'm smashing the same areas over and over again because it is so mild in order to get close enough The razor sounds great as well, I have to say, it really sounds exceptional as well now. And smooth, jeez it's smooth. going to be a big, big month in the maiden household. For those of you that don't know what household that is, that's my household. Just everyone calls me Madden. And I've gotten to that age now where I just can't be asked correcting people. <laughs> But I still, I'm still at my kids all the time. It's not Madden, it's Maiden. If someone says otherwise, get them bloody told. I always like people more when they straight off the bat call me Maiden. Oh, I tell you what, guys, that's a, a pretty spectacular pass. <laughs> I'm pretty much BBS everywhere. I'm just going to layer up another layer of cream and just finish this off. Now, I don't need a massive amount of cream now, I just want the, the properties and the slickness. And you can see that's really thin, but that's not the cream, it is the cream, but it's the brush that's doing it to the cream. But let us see, as long as that first lather's there, because that's the one that really counts. So it looks like there's nothing on my head there and there's not a lot on there. But once that first lather's done and you've got the, the biggest majority of stuff off your head and that's when you want the, the slickness to come in and provide that protection especially with a mild razor it's 
so that you can catch catch all these last little stragglers. Let's like say it's not as close, it's nowhere near as close as the above the tie of that one. What a wunderbar. It's nowhere near that close. And it sounds daft to say that because I am actually, I'm still BBS. But you guys out there will know, you can get BBS in different ways. For those out there that don't know what BBS is, it's baby butt smooth. So that's where there's no hair, you can't feel anything. And I'm definitely getting that with this razor. But I know that it's not going to last as long. It doesn't feel like it will last as long. It might. It might surprise me. Yeah, so right here, I'm doing, I've got, there's not a lot of hair left back here. I can definitely feel it when I stretch my skin a little bit and pull it here and there. And I can feel the, now, with the Wunderbar, or the R1, whether that be the R41 or the R1, didn't have to spend so much time on these bits. It got there, you felt them and you sort of passed over it and boom it was gone. See there's still little bits on the back here that are and a lot of it's finding the angle sometimes with the with the more efficient razors you don't have to find the angle quite as well because it just chomps through the hair no matter what way it's pointing. I mean they are 41 essentially from Mueller. If you could do a bit of against the grain and a bit of across the grain in one pass along with your with the grain first pass, you'd end up with a pretty close shave. But I hope you guys can really appreciate the the performance side of this cream as well. Although it smells great and it's got great ingredients in it and it's not the cheapest of creams. It's brushless and brush. Brush and brushless. The actual slickness it gives you is exceptional, it's really good slickness and I do, like I've said before, I've said it several times, I do find a lot of creams, I like that, they do seem to have a lot more slickness than some soaps. Is a lavender witch hazel, which has got a really nice mellow scent. I have to say, guys, I've really enjoyed both of these shaves today. 
I know that's a really mild razor, but that's made quite light work of quite a few days growth of hay. And it's not an aggressive or efficient razor by any means in terms of your R1s and all that. So I'm really, really impressed with this little razor. Right, well that's drying in. We can have a look at what we used. So it was Elvado, Lake of the Woods. In fact, you know what? No, it's alright, I'm going to stick. Excuse me, I'm going to stick with the same stuff I was going to use. So I've, I've had a Lake of the Woods shaving cream, avocado, and shea butter, silver fur needle. Now it's 3.4 ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but because this is pump measured, it's going to go a long way. You're not going to waste it. Two pumps for a face shave, three pumps for a head shave, and you can use three for both. It's so I prefer to load a little bit more in there just to get more out of it. But the slickness from it and the performance of it is exceptional. It smells great. It's run by a great gentleman over in Canada. The company themselves, are, are, they're a really good, thriving company. They do really well. And the products are just great. I really enjoy them. I really do. And that's a, that's a BBS head shave there. I'm just having a check on the back to see if I've got anything that looks a bit untoward, but it looks great, feels great. I didn't get any real burn or anything from the theatre, so I, I think I've had a great shave. And I've got no, no blood, no weepers, no cuts, no nothing. It's just great, really impressed. Finished off, oh, that's the thing, just well. Well, that's drying and it's not completely dried in yet before I finish off completely. Now, this brush is a great brush, it's got a lovely knot in it, it makes a great ladder, but I find it works better with the soap that you can actually load into it really heavy and get the soap to go right up into the to get the soap right deep in here so that your whole brush is caked inside with soap. It does smell good now right enough. But that was the Samog Owners Club. 2012. I'm not sure if this is a, a resin that looks like this or whether it's like plastic over wood. I don't know. It's a good bit of weight to it. So I'm assuming it is a resin. But it is a lovely, lovely brush. And uh, yeah, there is a bit of scritch off that knot. It's not massive, but it's enough there that it just annoys me a little bit when I'm doing a face shave with it and I'm actually lathering up with it. Some guys love that bit of scritch, I don't. I just like my brushes to have heaps of scrub with no scritch or scratch or anything that feels uncomfortable. I just like it to be really scrubby, really dense and have good backbone. That's about as good as it gets. Right. Brilliant. The razor is the Gillette Rocket HD 500 number 59. I can't remember wh when this... when this was actually made, I'm not sure, I can't remember what the year was for it. Hang on a minute, I just want to check something here. That's a bit odd. It could be that I've never had rhodium before. I didn't notice it yesterday when I got the razor. It looks to me like both of these doors are a different colour. I'm actually using my Lather Bros Arctic Jungle Cleaning Cloth or Microfiber I haven't actually washed it yet I normally wash a microfiber when I first get it before I start doing stuff but it feels really soft so I'm not too worried about it and this rhodium coating rhodium as far as I've been led to believe is pretty hardy stuff it's quite hard to scratch up so I can't imagine this little soft cloth is going to do much damage if any Pushing this up to have a look. Do you know something? I'm pretty certain these doors are a different colour. I'm going to put this on the camera and just see if you guys can see the difference. This door on this side looks like it's got a gold tint to it. So if I spin it round.
it could be just the reflection of coming off the walls and things. I don't know. I think I think I could be talking shit. It could be the light. Hold up. I think I think I'm talking shit. I can see it, but I think it is actually the lighting in here that's making it more pronounced. I think it's bouncing off the walls. It's so shiny. I just wasted a whole lot of time talking shit there. So we had the brand new. No, we didn't. We didn't have the brand new. Second use Gillette Nasset blade, that's going in the bin now. But the razor itself is just stunning. And as you can see, the twist to open mechanism works absolutely perfectly now. It's got that lovely sound as well. Just a beautiful little razor. Finished off with Thea's lavender wood hazel, which feels absolutely lovely. And I'm now just going to finish off with some of Shave works, the cool fix, just all over today, just to help get the skin ready for my weekend shave before I start full time work again, or full time for the man, as it is. So, don't need heaps of that, but that's to do my head and face. Now, the fact that that isn't stinging like mad. Anyway, on my face or my head, tells me that I've had a couple of shit hot shaves. Skin feels great, I feel great. And that's all that really matters. Because if I feel great, then hopefully I can help someone else feel great. And with that, I'm done and dusty. Thanks very much for tuning in. Probably another long video, but if you've watched it till the end, you're a champion. If you haven't watched it till the end and you've skipped to the end and you've skipped a bit, brilliant. If you've watched any of it, I'm absolutely over the moon. I've just noticed, I think I'm about to hit 1,400 subscribers. I was on 13.99 earlier on, so 1,400 subscribers, that's amazing. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by that. It's not going to be long, hopefully, that I'm at 2,000 for another giveaway. I've still got to do my 1,000 giveaway, so hopefully they're on the way. I've got no idea. I might flick a little message off and see if I get something back. But other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Have some awesome shaves, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.